Hey Leo, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading. This is for your week of July 26, 2021. Thank you guys for stopping by. As always, if you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. If today's reading resonates with you, there will be an extended in the, the video description box below this video. You'll find that by finding the arrow below the video. And if you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com. All right, so Leah, we are looking at your week of July 26. You will reunite with someone from your past, and don't worry, this is someone from your far distant past, not the person that instantly came to your mind, okay? Um, I've got three energies here that may or may not resonate with some of my Leos, Libra, Virgo, and Capricorn. Um, there's also a need to say no to someone that you feel is taking advantage of you. Um, there's a quick, quick glimpse of your temper. I want to say it's very brief and passing. This is a week of getting what you want and help us on the way. Good news arrives, bringing in some major changes and some new opportunities. So let's look at this. We're looking at Leo. Leo, this is your week of July 26, 2021. Your first card up, Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups shows that you are ready to open your heart. You're ready to give love. You're ready to receive love. For some of you, a Scorpio may or may not resonate. With that, I've got the Eight of Pentacles. Now, Eight of Pentacles is money in addition to. This is in addition to your regular paycheck. Um, this is in addition to... Yeah, just in addition to. It could be the sale of an item. Could be a second job, just something else coming in. With that, I have the Ace of Swords, new beginning. Now, your new beginning is coming under communication, okay? Is this where your temper is? It could very well be. Don't worry. We will clarify and find out. Next to that, I have the Nine of Cups coming in with wish fulfillment. Not only wish fulfillment, this is total happiness and total contentment. And at the center of your reading, I've got total victory and total success. Now, some of you, it could be public speaking, but some of you have an audience or you're going to be surrounded by people you're not normally surrounded by. But either way, it does lead to victory and success. And we have the moon and the moon says it's all about divine timing. For this week of the 26th, it's going to be all about timing. With that, I have the page of Pentacles. Um, Page of Pentacles coming in with a good business deal, some wise business decisions, and a Capricorn may or may not resonate with you guys. I think we saw that at the beginning of the video as well. And we have the King of Swords, someone with a sharp tongue, someone who may kind of lash out at you. I don't see a confrontation, but just know it's present. It also could resonate as a Libra energy. And we have, look at there, the Magician. Highest card in the deck. This is the card that says you get everything you want, everything you desire is presented on that table right there before you. All right, Leo. So let's clarify these cards and let's start up here at the beginning, starting with that Queen of Cups. Leo, on the Queen of Cups, I have, look at there, the Four of Cups. Unexpected offer, and for a lot of you, this is going to be an unexpected offer of love. On the Queen of Coins, we have that Death Card energy. Now, this means endings, closures, rebirths, and new beginnings. It's one door is closing, one cycle is ending, and another is beginning, and another door is opening. And because of that, there's a wave of emotions. Okay, so just allow yourself, allow it to happen. Allow yourself to be emotional. On the Ace of Swords, I have the Five of Cups. This is in communication. Don't overthink things. Get out your head. Say what you got to say and move forward. But don't overthink things. Don't overanalyze. Don't feed more into something that is not there. On the Nine of Cups, you have the Six of Swords. Moving into a better spot. You've been in a very troublesome spot, and you're moving forward from that. You're moving physically moving. Some of you, it's a residential move. But so, you're 
bottom line is you're leaving something negative and you're moving into a more positive spot on the six of wands i have the four of wands there again divine timing happy home happy couple happy family okay um relationships um for those of you for my single leos this is the start of something new and for my couple leos this is ascending to another level on top of the moon we have the five of swords the divine timing Ooh, guys you are defensive this may be what i'm talking about with the anger let your guard down don't be so defensive you have no reason to defend yourself or your actions let your guard down on the page of pentacles we have the six of wands okay again victory success having an audience twice that's come into play and we have the emperor now the emperor is a dominant prominent person take control type person remember at the beginning of the video I said you get what you want but help us on the way this is that person that like almost comes in like to almost save the day per se okay and on top of the magician we have another major arcana of justice justice being restored signing of a contract legal suits legal battles um something that restores you it could be loans or something to restore the balance there but something is coming in and it's to your favor and your bonus card for the center it's a new beginning the new beginning is in love comes on top of that four of wands and the divine timing beautiful reading here for my leos i am going to continue right here where i left off at vimeo so please join me there you will find a link in the description box below this video and if not join me at jackietomlin.com you guys have a great week and i'll see you soon bye